Hello, everyone. Hello, girls. Um, thank you for joining. So today, um, I decided we continue the topic with um, with perspective. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And as you remember, so here we did the perspective one point perspective. Yeah, yeah. and we did the our cool room. I really enjoyed yeah. your drawing. Very nice. So just to kind of have this topic, you know, more clear. Here I found um, it's a painting of a famous uh, French artist. Here his name Paul Signac, and he was very famous of inventing this pointillism style. You can see that everything here is made like with little dots. So we're gonna experiment today a little bit with this, how to make all these dots. But why I've chosen this painting? It's also because here, again, we can practice our perspective rules. So we have here a lighthouse. I really love lighthouses. I think they're very romantic to paint. And here we can again practice those lines that are getting to the point. And actually our point is where the lighthouse is, yeah? So, so this is what we're gonna practice today. And yeah, let's start as usually. We have pencil, we have a razor, and you can even use um, a ruler if you feel to for those lines. Um, so, Let's start with the horizont line, yes? And horizont line is actually exactly where the, kind of the bottom of the lighthouse is. Yes? And we can check like, it's not half of the page. Yeah, so where my pencil is, it's kind of a little bit higher than the middle of the, so you can check, okay, where is the middle of my, yeah of my paper and just a and then i a little bit higher yes and then you mark and i can show you another trick so for example now i need to mark a long line and of course then it can go like a little bit different what can i do i can use separate paper and i can kind of mark so marking from the bottom of my paper to the line and then i can kind of make myself a little you know, and then I can, then my line is kind of a bit more straight, not that it goes up or down. Yeah, this is like a little trick. It's almost the same like with the ruler, just I don't really need to know how much. I just need to mark it with them. Um, yeah, it's, it's like a little trick. You don't necessarily need to use it now, but just so you know it exists and um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then let me know when your line is ready. Yes, it's ready. Oh, then we go for the lighthouse. Yeah, so on this line, we can mark, so I can make maybe make like, this drawing is more square. My paper is a bit longer. So maybe I will, I will put my lighthouse a little bit more to the center. Yeah. Somewhere here, I'm putting my light. I can even sketch it a little bit. I can even sketch how how tall it's gonna be. Yeah, mark where this this yellow part. That's where the light is shining. Yeah, so just kind of marking, making this little house. Of, and also the bottom here, for example, the bottom of. Lighthouse, I've painted um, we have to erase this. a bit, a bit bigger. Yeah, sure, like correct. I'll take your time to feel. Okay. Yay, very nice. Yeah. So, and what we do now, now we need to create our line. So this is like, um, this yellow is path where people are walking uh, to get their boats and to get also to the lighthouse. So this is, so the bottom of my lighthouse will be this point. Yeah, so 
what I do, I can even like maybe with the line, yeah, I can I can do or with the with the hand. I can do this, and of course, let's say maybe I can even if it's easier, like mark myself exactly a point, yeah. But in theory, this point can be also a bit behind the lighthouse. Yes, it's kind but of. I still not finished yet. Ah, sorry, sorry. Thanks for telling me. It's very important. Um, of course, I wait. Yes. So actually, like, yeah, if it's easier, of course, you mark on this horizont a center, like a point where our lines are going to go. Yeah. And then, so we had this line, and then we have like this wall here on the side. Yeah, so we have this yellow path, and then we have again this kind of yellow greenish wall. And we see the upper line of the wall is going there to the point on the horizon and um, the bottom of the wall. Yes, so the, bot the, the dot is on the horizon line. And all parallel lines are going to this, yeah, to there. Yeah, so I can do this, and then my, yeah, yeah so, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, if 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 it's something not clear or it doesn't work, just ask, and I will try explain it again or okay. differently. Yeah, we are here. And then we see that the wall, it's kind of, it's coming a bit higher than the horizon line. So I can mark a dot higher than horizon and then I can go again. Like then I'm going to my dot from the top. Yeah, so like this I'm going. I got to now. Yeah. And then, for example, I can even maybe erase a little bit here the horizontal line so it doesn't uh, bother me. And um, yeah, and then maybe I can create another like double line. So it's a little bit like um, um, this wall has this thickness there. Um, very hard. And okay. All right. And what happens? Then we have one more. <clears throat> um, so we have here an island. Okay, let's let's do the island, and then we do another line with those ships. So, like these lines, we have straight. This is our horizontal line. Yeah. yeah. So our horizontal line, you can see. It's where this kind of, this far away, a little bit, this purple thing is with like. Here. Yeah. And, um, and here we have an island that is in front. So it's kind of, it's closer to us. So if this is the water yeah. and somewhere here, I will have this island. Yeah, and then it's kind of can be hilly, and it can be it can also also higher. Yeah, so it's kind of um, it's even kind of covering uh, my horizon a bit, and I can make like maybe a second layer there behind. Yeah, so there is also like this, this all this story goes. So there are my islands. And. I still not finished. Yes. I should go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, take, take time to do islands. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here. And here. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I got one it. One more little island. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, yes, thanks for letting me know always when you finished. One thing I actually forgot about our wall. Let's okay. take a look. The wall is actually from bricks. So you can even notice there are like those white light lines. And it will be a very good practice again for this perspective. So here on this side of the wall that is closer to me, I can mark like maybe, let's say, maybe four, four points. Yeah, that of my bricks. Mm -hmm. And what happens is from each of the point, I draw the line to the point. So, and here you will see very nicely how my lines are changing. So this one goes like this, all the lines. So I connect the first dot, yeah, and, um, and you and then you notice that the lines they change direction and the upper dot it becomes more horizontal and this is also the rule the closer to the um, horizontal the line is more like straight horizontal the more far away like uh with more angle with um i'm not very great at yeah, so yeah. I'm finished. Wow, you're quick. And so then it the wall feels like it's a brick wall. What I do, I do little vertical divisions. Yes. And then it feels as a brick wall. But here I should also, so lines are really straight vertical. The trick is also to compare the line with the line of the page because our paper is always straight so check that your line is not like falling to the left or to the right but it's like very straight and then another thing is we also follow perspective so we make lines each time kind of a bit closer and closer yeah so the first ones are more far away from each other but as we go closer to the highlight uh, to the lighthouse, and then wow, the magic! We have the um, our brick wall. Yeah, 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 just play with those brick lines. You know? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Finished. Finished. Ooh, very good, Pia. So, who from you, Pia and Yo Yo, can tell me where is one more line? that goes to this point which which another line here on the drawing yeah, uh, on the purple thing aha uh -huh. okay here is this is the shadow that is falling from um from this mast of the ship but uh -huh. if you look closer and if you connect the ships look the points of the ships they are also going to this point you see and this is this will help us create that these ships are bigger and then the ship goes smaller and smaller and in real life the ships are the same size but we need to draw them like this so then we feel this deepness yeah so what we do we we can mark like some so, okay, maybe this one we can even skip, but maybe just those small ships. So we just mark somewhere one point of one ship that we're going to have. So here I'm going to have the closest ship, let's say. Yes. So... Just like, I don't really like this middle, middle uh... um, ship. If you like it, you can have it. 
but honestly, I prefer to, um, yeah, just modify a little bit. And, and again, I'm checking that my ship is straight. I think it's, it's falling a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it can also be not perfectly straight because ship is moving, but in purpose of exercise. So this will be my, this first ship. Now I'm making this ship. So not this huge one in front, but I'm making this, this one. And what I do from the point of the ship, I also go to this point. So I also go like this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And it means that all other ships, they will not be higher than this line. Yeah. Yep, got it. Yep. Yeah, perfect, girls. Wow. Okay, so let's, for example, draw to this ship, we can draw um, its thingy. So where, where uh, everyone is sitting. So it's actually very easy. Middle line, and then I go like, it's not really triangle, but a bit like to the side. So like to this side, and then I go to, to this side. So like, if, if it's not clear, I can repeat it, yeah? So let's let's do it again. So all I did, I had my middle line, and then I put those diagonals like like this. It's a little bit like a book, you know, or something sometimes. It's the line. Yeah? yeah. And like this. Go so down. this will be my yeah. first. This is the my seat. first ship. Yeah, the, the seat exactly where people are sitting when when they're um going with the boat. Yep, mama. You work very hard. <laughs> yes, this topic is not easy. But I already discovered you girls are very smart, so I'm sure. And this is, again, this is the hardest part. Later will be fun part of painting and putting dots and... Um... Uh, yeah, so just kind of yeah. like you see. <laughs> Done. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, all good. You can ask me also if it's not for you. Not Done. Nice. Not yet, um, what actually I can do also so that my ship looks a little bit more realistic here at this um, mast, I put like some like two dots, it's like as if connections. And then I draw, because the boats, they have all those lines, so I can just kind of do a little bit of, um, uh, so th that's later where they connect all this um, sail and hmm. maybe another one, I don't know, maybe like two or something. Okay. Um, and let's do one more ship. So let's say now I have this my upper line, and then from there I go with another with another mast. Yeah. For example, yeah. Yeah. And more or less all the boats will have the same story. So again, from this mast. Oh. There are those diagonals going. Oh. Yeah. The oh, only yes. thing we also remember is that every ship be looks smaller and smaller as it goes. Yeah. So kind of the same story, the same story of another ship. Yeah. I'm repeating and repeating 
Yours looks great. Yes. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like how mine is going on too. And okay. okay, very nice. So I suggest we can do maybe two more ships the same way, but here, like very far away, they are very close to the to the lighthouse. And you see, I still kind of keep on using the my, my vert this this diagonal line on top and i use again the same but now my ships are like small they're far away yeah so like we already practiced so this just two more small ships far away for example here and here and here and here and here and here and here. I didn't get it. Nice. I almost did it by me, my mom's help. Or I can just start all over again. Or I can just do it ever again. I mean, or you can put, of course, more shapes. Yes, yeah? so I have four, but maybe you ha you can have if you have more space. Um, and of course, not all shapes they stand the same. Yeah, we can see here shapes that is kind of it just standing differently. Here, it's a like little boat. It's standing parallel to the horizon. And it's also interesting to, to draw it. Hmm? Yeah, let's wait for um Yo Yo. Oh no, you're painting there. I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, so then I can just here, just to make it a bit more interesting, I can make like other boats. Maybe just and now I don't really care about the point. Because I'm placing my boats differently, yes? I just want to... They're still not finished. Yeah, you can also play a little bit with the boats. Don't have to be... <laughs> like, as, as, as mine ones. Yeah, I can... <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, wait. Yes, I'm doing here some some more little boats. Mama, help. All the boats here are parked. Hey. Yeah, maybe also. Hey. Yeah, okay, let's do also here one more. I only did this. Yeah, and just so it's like a bigger boat, and then each big boat has also one small one. It actually helps the boat get to the for example, that much boats we can have or Mm -hmm. and um so yeah almost ready i suggest maybe we paint also this boat here i find it's nice in composition way or maybe this one that actually goes uh with the open um sail like you see this one has the the sail it's open so maybe we can have just to break a little bit composition so maybe somewhere here Hello. I can draw another boat. Great. 
this is kind of so maybe also moving from so I don't see the whole boat. It's going from outside of the paper, but um, it's nice. It's it's breaking a little bit all the all the ah. There is even person sitting. Very nice. There is a person sitting who is controlling the the boat. Cool. Yeah. So. Maybe some. Yeah, and then also, of course, I clean if there are some lines of landscape that on the way I can. Whoa. If you fancy this boat here with those two. Uh, musts that are like the straight, you can also add this one. Um, I think I'll leave it. I'm, I'm, um, so I'm going to stay. What can I do? I can also clean. So this is like, this is the construction line we did. I can clean it now because I don't need it anymore. I have all my boats uh, on, on a place. Yeah. Um, and cool. So it was another construction of perspective. So for perspective, what you need, you need horizontal line. On horizontal line, you will have this meeting point. And then everything that is parallel goes to this point. Yeah, so in this case, it was our road. It was the brick wall and all the bricks. Each brick has its own line. But they all go there and we even made the boats also going there so um yeah very nice hi hello christianas yes thank you for joining hope you can see oh well yes we, we have already started and we've just finished um making the pencil drawing Today, we're also discovering the um, rules of perspective. Uh, so this is our one point perspective uh, topic. If you can catch up, yeah, if not, there will be recording. So you'll be able to watch it from the start. Yeah, but now, now the time for the paints. Yes, girls. Yeah, I can see already have. OK, Christian is left, so maybe. Um, uh, they will get you recording. Cool. Let's get to the colors. So, okay. Let's first analyze what colors we might need here. So what we're taking, girls? Which colors? Blue. Blue, of course. What else? White. Uh-huh. Yellow. Yellow, definitely. Hmm. What other colors? But would, would, for the boats, let's say, what color would you use? The wall um should be like a bit blue and white and black. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So exactly all those colors. So you can have different blues. Yes. Of course. Let's say you might have um like light blue. You can have dark blue. And actually, we will very nice. I really like this emerald blue. Yeah, so it's kind of green, blue mixed together. So just see and use the blues you have around. Doesn't have to be all of them, but kind of. Uh, so we have the sky and the water. The water a bit more greenish. So emerald, this works cool. And uh, other blues for, um, for the sky. And of course, we have yellow for the the road and of course like very bright orange yellow for the light of the lighthouse this actually we can start with also but before we start i would like to show you also another examples of this pointillism style so it's exactly in this name point pointillism so the painting is made with dots and take a look here another painters who were using this kind of style, yes. Yeah, so here are like very tiny dots, look very, very tiny. 
but then he managed to do them um yeah also like the landscape but here for example the strokes are a bit bigger yeah but still it's um kind of dotty this one also very cool yeah so it's also it feels like the boat and the stormy sea but all done with with um and here, for example, um, it's have you heard about uh, Vincent van Gogh? No. No, it's um, it's a painter. He comes from uh, Holland, so Dutch painter. Um, oh. Very famous, and he you can easily recognize him because he always used those kind of strokes. Interesting. So here, not even not only dots, but also little lines. So you can actually also uh not to use only small dots but yeah have those different style of lines yeah very nice so it's just for you to for like inspiration but i'll show you so how, how it will work it will work that we will do the base layer of some color so let's say we will have light yellow as base layer for the road and then we put dark yellow dots and we can have light blue layer for the sky and then we put darker blue and we can have light green for the base of the water and then we can use dark green so this will be the, the process how we work and yeah let's start maybe with yellow i always like to start with yellow because it's the lightest and then we kind of save our space for, um... and usually you always have lemon yellow and middle yellow. So I suggest you start with lemon yellow and you even add some white because we are really interested that um, our base layer is pale. This is important. So at, at this stage, don't work don't work too um too bright please use much more white so your base layer is um yeah is pale and another another thing before putting the paints what i also like to do i take my eraser and I I lighten up a bit my drawing so i lighten up my pencil I can still see it, see, yeah, I can still see where are my lines, but then it's not so active. The pencil is not so aggressive. So then if I want to make their very light drawing, like light yellow, then my pen pencil is not bothering. So you can do also as well. This is called like lighten up. And of course, it's important to do it before you put the paints. After you put water, after you put paint, there is no way back. Yeah. So then you just, yeah. But so now you will probably see much less of my drawing. Um, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So it's, it's like one of the techniques. But then it's important to clean well from all the eraser leftovers. Yeah. Very nice. It's easier. Maybe I'm going to do it for special things. So let's start with first one. And it is then very pale yellow for the road and for the brick wall. So what I do, I have my white, more white, less yellow. So yellow, I can even just barely touch it. I barely touch it with the brush and I start mixing it with white because yellow is also strong color yeah so look here how much i had more white paint and less yellow but still yeah i needed and then what i do i just color the the whole road yeah and the road and the wall yeah so the road the wall and actually maybe we can color also our island because this is very base, very pale yellow. And like any color can go on top. Uh, the, the lighthouse, I'm not uh, doing 
going to split it. Yellow? I'm only... Lighthouse last. Yeah, the lighthouse only... Only the light is yellow, but the, itself, it's white with the blue shadows. Huh? Wait for the sky, right? Yeah, so... And mm -hmm. I can do also put a little bit yellow on my... Uh, one part of this... Um, of the island, yeah. So this is was my first. Wall first. Yeah. And well, since I'm working with yellow, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take my little brush and with clean yellow, I'm gonna put light to lighthouse. And why? Because now I'm gonna go to work to the sky, and this will prevent me from forgetting and covering the light of my lighthouse uh, with blue. Yeah, so I just kind of save this space and um, so then later it shines. Oops, big rose mm -hmm. brush. Very, very nice. Okay. Brush. Just using a big brush. Yeah, so take your time. First step, pale, very light yellow, because this is the base. And then on top, we will be sitting our um, our dots that are darker. And... So. Take time. Mommy, we need some more. We need to up together. Now we get there. Yeah, I finished. Very nice. What yet? What? Oh. Yes, yeah, so um, if you finished, next Not step yet. will be the same step, but with blue. And again, take a look. I have much more white. I have like a huge pile of white. And I will take like very tiny bit of my light celestial blue. So even if this blue is light, anyway, I take like a tiny bit. And the way I mix again, I just put a little bit on my brush. So just very tiny bit of brush. And I start mixing with my white. And I see how it's turning. Yeah, because you will be surprised how little you need blue to make. Yeah, and again, really try to make it pale. Yeah, because again, it's just the base layer. No. We need it light, and then I can just go and cover my my sky. Yeah, very nice, very light. And you can even see if you're very um, uh, if you paid attention to the painting, you can actually see that it goes a little bit. That here the outside is a bit more darker, and inside is even white. So I can even put here like the blue. But going towards the horizon, I can change to white and I can put even like even more pale. Yeah. So here, you see, I, I tried to make very pale blue and still it's pretty much dark. So this is something that's not easy to do. White is there. Yeah, but then. Yeah, and then I can make also even here a bit more. Yeah, so here I made the task a little bit more complicated because I'm making also the transition from blue to very pale blue. Feel it. It's not that must. Yeah. If it's like if it works, you can do it. 
if you say ah, just the general blue. And don't forget, of course, our lighthouse. Stay careful with the light. We want it to shine. We want it to, yeah. Although it's curious. Now I'm wondering why the painter made it shiny if it's a daytime. Daytime, you don't, they're not very, but. Maybe you can add some light to it. Yeah. You can do some leftovers or some clouds. Mm, very good idea. Yes. We can make clouds, but I suggest we experiment with this point technique. And actually, then you can create clouds with those dots and points. Yeah. So the next step will be those dots. And yeah, but before we still have all the time. We have also water. Mm. And I think we'll just use the dark blue and white. Um, I would suggest, you know, because for water, I suggest we also create this very light base layer. And maybe we can take some pale green. So actually, I think he was even creating on white and on yellow water. But we can use like very pale green so maybe like some beautiful green you have and again tiny tiny bit of it and then um and more and more white yeah and, and now you know why white paint is the one that finishes first because we always need much white for everything and then, um, I need to do some and some I need to left them. Ah, yeah, I think what I do, since here I have my blue and yellow leftovers, I'll try to mix them. Maybe then I can get some interesting. When we are doing some art of the sky, so we have to lift some, <laughs> some parts. Take, take a look what I also did. I had my blue leftover with yellow. So actually, I haven't used any green aside i just using those leftovers here i have and i can create a very cool green that i can even mix also with white and then i can use this very pale color as the base color for the water yeah i'm not finished yet yes no. thank you time thank you time so if you're doing something extra on sky of course keep on your work and, and um, the water yeah will um what is great oh the grass so again this is the preparation work again it's not maybe that exciting the next step, I think, will be the best when we start doing those lines and dots. Um, yeah, here I'm also careful with my island. So the island later will be here, it's a bit like orangey. And of course, I can also change a little bit. The, so maybe not the whole water is the same green. I can also then put either okay. more pale or more blue in some parts. Yeah, it's...
So this is our preparation. So I'd say more or less it's kind of ready. Um, yeah, like the, the, the biggest parts, the, um, the yellow sidewalk, the sky. A lot better. So take your time to finish and let me know and I'll explain what is the good way to work with all those dots. Um, Okay, finished. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. Um, so what how will I work then? Here I see many different colors. Here I see purple and brown and dark green and dark blues. So actually I will put all the colors I think I will need, but not in very big files. They're just like so maybe like the dark blue I want to use. Yeah, and maybe like maybe two two blues then um yeah. so I'll just put all the colors I think I will use and then I start working and I put also purple. Yeah, if you have purple ready, cool. If you don't, uh what's the way to mix purple for members? Um is it uh red and blue? Very nice, exactly correct. Yeah. So I'll put also brown and I'll put also um sienna and ochre, yeah, for darker. Um so I don't put much paint, but I put small dots of of many colors that um uh, and there is also pink. Oh now I've noticed. Well, which I see that a little bit on the heel and on the bows there is some pink color. Wait, um, are you going to see? So um, I'm putting the colors now for the whole painting, both uh -huh. for, for the boats and for the sea uh -huh. and for the landscape. Like, um, and then I'll use parallel. Um, yeah, just kind of sitting. This color is very dark. This is very dark purple. Yes, purple can be very dark, so you can lighten it with um um with white, of course, yeah, or maybe with pink. Lots of white. Yeah. So where's white? No more, sorry. There's too much other color each time. How else can you yeah. No, they're not here. And I'm finished. This is the it's very dark. Now what do we do? Now what do we do? Yeah, so what we do now? We are preparing like the colors 
you think you might need. So here, like, ooh, I have a bunch of colors and I have different blues and I have different greens and I have all those different brown, orange, cyan. Yeah. Like, we can have some flowers. Mm -hmm. the we'll finish these first yes and then there is another um so you can use small brush but you can also use those um mm -hmm. earbuds now do you have those girls uh, around the house don't know. yeah try to check because like it's not the mask but sometimes it's fun because you can have it do just dotting, yeah? I think we have it. Yeah, just check. I mean, if not, it's fine. You can use brush. Yes, we have it. Yay, yay, yay. So what do we need them for? So we need them to do the dots. So let's say here I have my... Oh, I forgot to put darker yellow. So um, I have my base for the road. It's very light yellow, but now I want to do a little bit of texture. So I just take my this earbud and I go into the paint. And then I start dotting. I can start dotting the, yes. Now I'm gonna show you closer. So here I'm taking this and I can start I can do smaller dots, less dots. Yeah, so this is why we needed this base color because we can't dot everything. Yeah, yeah? and then we have... Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Yeah, and sometimes, so you can use this, then at some point you can use also brush. So you can play first, maybe try on the on the road, and then you feel more comfortable. Yeah, you can you can try. Like if it works for you, cool. If you say, ah, uh, it's not comfortable. No worries, you can change to the uh, to the brush. Yeah, but just as an experiment. So, for example, hmm? yeah, and I can I can let my um to dry a bit later. I can come back and do some uh, some more stuff there. Um, so, what else? Do some dots for the ocean. Very nice. Let's go for the ocean. So I have my pale green. For the ocean, I suggest we do, instead of doing only dots, maybe we can do like little horizontal stripes. Like this, maybe we create the feeling of waves. Yeah, and it will look a bit different than... And I suggest you start not with the darkest green, but go slowly. So you had now pale green. Now just go and take maybe... Um, yeah, some, some lighter green. So I have here emerald, and I mixed my emerald with a little bit of white. Tiny emerald. Yeah, and then I can also, so either I take, I experiment which works best for me. Maybe still the smaller brush, and then I go, yeah. And now maybe I can sit, yeah, just like, I'm sitting lines, but then I'll be, I'll use also different color in between. Okay. So then different greens, different blues. Can be. And also the story is that closer to me, the lines are bigger. As I go more far away, oh, then it's really the dots and the small. Yeah. So try also to follow this perspective rule that what is more far away the dots are smaller, 
the closer it's getting to me, the dots are bigger. So for example, here I've okay. to create this, yeah, this change. So you can see the bigger dots here, then they go smaller. And there on the horizon, the dots are, um, I mean, now at the moment I'm doing stripes, yeah, so. But check maybe also the. Giant. 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 And it can be even very fun and relaxing process of putting those dots. Um, Here I've created also a little bit of shadow under the boats using the same, just this emerald green. Later, if it's needed, I can do a bit more um, darker. Yeah, so it's good to have different size of brushes. Um, yeah, but also remember to leave space for other colors. So the whole sea would not just with this emerald, but we're gonna have also other, other colors there. It's the perspective of your world. Too many dots. Look at this. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! This looks awesome. Ready? Even almost finished. I need to hurry up. I don't know which is close, which is Yes, yes, yes. Remember, this is important. The dots that are closer to me, that are more at the bottom of the paper, are bigger. The more far away they go, they're big, smaller. Big, big. Mm -hmm. And here maybe then I'll, I can and then I can take also maybe some blue yeah so maybe don't because then the water doesn't stay is only green I can also take some some blue color And of course, I'd say maybe the sky doesn't have to be in dots, maybe the sky can have just normal clouds. I mean. If you say ah, too many dots, it's also fine. Yeah. Look at mine. And you can spend as much time on the drawing. Like you can make it very detailed, you can make it very sophisticated. Or yeah, you yeah. see maybe it's more an experiment and yeah, yeah remember that. Very far away, we have a little bit purplish, like hills, but it's very pale. So it's also don't take dark because it's far away. So it should look very pale. So here I'm doing very small size, definitely not high, not tall, very just pale. And and I see even here he did a little bit, but maybe. Different blue, let's check. Yeah. Here on the side, I'm putting a little bit more darker. And why I'm doing this? Because it's the shadow from the path on the water. Yeah, so here it's a little bit darker dots along the yellow path. 
because it's higher and it gives the shadow to the to the water. Yeah. And yes, like this, so you continue to work. There are many different, so of course, can't, can't forget about more, um, more color. Um, yeah. For example, also our hills. Yeah. Hills, I can also, let's say, here I make one hill. We had yellow background. Here I do a little bit orangey background. And then I can use again, come back to the dots. Here I have. And then I can again take maybe greenish. Create here maybe some greenish dots. Yeah, and then again, maybe I take a bit darker green. Yes. Um, and then you have this purple piece. Hmm? You can draw purple. Let's just go for this one. And I, I change, of course, the air stick so I can, um, yeah, then one for yellow, one for brownish, then I can. Yes, for example, aha, uh -huh, the boats, of course, not to forget the boats. And also not to forget the oh too too much works yet lighthouse the wall the boats a lighthouse I suggest we can also leave just white and just a little bit I do the I just take the brush I don't really need to do okay. the boats. you did the lighthouse already this is very nice oh wow it's such colorful. Love it. So you let her go after I finish the lighthouse. Yep. Oh, the Look at mine. Yeah, so what I do with the lighthouse, I'm just putting a little bit blue shadows and I'm actually leaving it white. Yeah, and um, so maybe. I have the camera too. Wait, can I add some clouds? Yes, of course you can add the clouds. It's it's your work and it doesn't have to be the copy of this. And if, if you're done, you can already add your your things. It's it's the best. The best what you can do, of course, create your ideas and interpretation. Huh? And I use a little bit like green and blue for also for the shadows, um, for the shadow of the brick wall and... Maybe there I'll have and with with the brick wall so we can see what he did actually he kind of left the those connection line between bricks he left white look at this now 
looks cool. Wow, girls. You're impressing me for the second time. The last week drawings and now there is a couple of cool painters sitting. Yeah, hard work. Mm -hmm. So here, for example, now I'm experimenting also dots just with the small brush. And then of course they're not that circled, but it also looks cool. And yeah, so it can be different. So then it's just not all to to the same dots and just a wall. Okay. I also did a wall. Oh, my 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 boats are missing. But the boats, what I do, I'm gonna do them. Finished. You are finished. Very nice. Don't forget to sign your artwork. Wait, there's big green flag. Yeah, you can have then Please. your artist signature somewhere at the, the corner. I'm still missing the boats. I'm doing very quickly the boats. And what I do, I do pink color for the sail. And somewhere I can do also a little bit pink for... Um, the boats itself and other boats are um and here for the base for the boats actually i take copper yeah. and, I, and i like metallic colors because they're kind of transparent so i know this and then I can use it now as a base color because it's transparent. And then I'll use a bit darker brown to do the, to do the darker shading part. Okay. How do you draw black clouds? Are you going to see no, it's an on the... It's an outline. Oh, my. Oh, actually, Emma. Emma? Yeah. I'll, I'll um, outline my whole picture with black. Okay, still. Make it still. We should see outline, especially black outline. Mm -hmm. um. And if you are, if you heard about this word and this um, art movement that called impressionism, so this is one of its uh, painters. Actually, and I didn't white to red, but we still have white and red. We have red, but we don't have white. Okay. Yeah. So we have to just do the sail just red. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't forget also the shadows under the boat. Look what I made. <gasps> oh, I love the clouds. And very nice shadow along the, the road. Hey, yeah, I look more realistic with the shadow, isn't it? So let's check if um, I didn't catch it, if you have shadows also on the water under the boats. I will also yes. now make my shadows also a bit more clear. Because this makes, again, it makes the more realistic. So then maybe take just a bit darker blue. And then you can create, again, some dots. 
And since here I have the sail, I will make a bit more those because then I have a sail. But for other boats that have just, yeah, then I do a little bit of this. Yeah, if you already have kind of dark enough the water, then maybe it's also not um, like that. Uh, but if your water is light, then of course uh, it will give a nice effect. I've added a bit more strokes to there. So uh huh. Very nice. Yes. And what about your lighthouse? Is it shining lighthouse or um? Yeah, yeah? is it's the light there? I'm doing it the usual way and see how I'm going. Okay, sounds cool to me. So mm -hmm. Maybe I'll finish tomorrow. Definitely, Maybe this. I know. The painting with dots actually can be like always continued because it's so much work doing those dots. It's oh. good um, not doing it in one session, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, these two with oh, the green and mix together. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so you see, I even didn't get to my sky to do the dots yet. There's so much work. Yeah, so uh, and even the water, I want to do much more different dots in the water. So lots of work. So the same I might finish also. I'm doing some yellow. Uh -huh. Where are you doing? Where are you putting it? The sun. The sand, yes. You also put up the sun. Get 
them more colors. What like, color you get when you mix red and green? I don't know. Ah, okay. Let me know when you discover. And with the cat, oh no, it just got stuck. And I got it again. Because we remember that red and green. So if you remember this this wheel of do you, do you know this wheel of color wheel, girls? Yeah. Do you know yeah. about the color wheel? Yeah. So we know that red is the opposite of green. Yeah. And orange is opposite of blue. Yeah. And yellow. And when we mix the opposite colors, when uh, what color are we getting? Um, if I mix red and green, if I mix blue and orange, they get complementary. Exactly. They called complementary colors. Yeah. Sorry, not opposites. Complementary. And but if we mix them, we are getting brown color. Hmm? Uh -huh. okay. So you can you can experiment and you can. It's try. brown. Hmm? It's red and black brown. Mm -hmm. That is a new one that I never saw. Wow. I'm going to use this for the sale. I'm going to discover that new ones. I mix red and green, mm -hmm. and the green become to dark, dark, dark blue. Yeah. And green. So I'm using that for the book. Mm -hmm. Now, these are very special. And I was almost finished, and now I'm finished. Wow. Those were very special. I think I can do it again. <laughs> I can maybe do some I more. used ultramarine blue and vibrant, and I made this color for the scene. Ooh, I can see that about them. Yay. Fancy one. Uh, I like yours. <laughs> yeah. But you see, I didn't manage to do the, um, the sky. I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Kind of. Yes. Um, tell me, girls, which part you love the most of your paintings? Of the dots. Course. The dots? The dots? Yes. So was the dots fun? Yes. Yes. Mix. 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 So I mix every color. Black. Also, okay. Even okay though do you want me to help you make this cup that color? Do you want me to help you make yeah. it? Mm. Yes or no? Do you want? What? Do you want me to help you make this color? Oh, yes. Do you want an empty space? Some blue? Look at this. I got more colors, and when I make all these here, then they mix this one. Mm -hmm. Now, you stand back, I'm going to mix black. So I can know I can make easy it. So, I am going to do a special thing. I'm going to make a sunset. So, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some lines around the sun and then some pretty colors like like this color and if I'm ready I'm going to do this and it also takes time to dry up. So, so I'm, I'm experimenting now. I'm putting very... Very pretty, like mm -hmm. art. So I will swirl all around. Mm. Everywhere. So... I can it seems up. like you're putting dots everywhere except the sky. 
Well, so kind of lots of work still here at the bottom with dots. And honestly, I feel a little bit that my sky looks so nice and light. And honestly, I'm a little bit afraid to start dots in the sky. So I'm kind of yeah. thinking, yeah. so maybe I will leave my I sky think, this way. Well, this one, this one, this one. Maybe, maybe I'll try to do some dots in the sky. I'm trying to use yellow. <laughs> But what I'm experimenting now is actually I'm putting uh, some yellowish green to the to the water. So it also will make it kind of shine a bit, maybe make it more feeling of the sun. Is special. Yeah. And I'm going to go everywhere around in a circle. And I'm very artistic. You can see I can do curls around oh. and lots of curls until I go back okay. all the way to here. <laughs> Very pretty. Very nice. Wait. Yeah, so girls, don't forget. Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Very artistic. Art. I can use some blue. Don't forget about your signature. Yeah, at the bottom um, of your painting. Um. I don't know my signature yet, but I'll just um, do PW. Exactly, because you need to start practicing also your artist signature. And um, because at the moment when you need to sign some artwork, then you already practice. You already okay. have. Yeah, so it's now it's just. Nice. Oh, looks very nice. Look at this. <laughs> nice. I love this red. Uh, Ooh, it's really nice. Nice. Yeah. I like my art. I hope that you. But you. Who is better? I don't know. I don't want to do it with sunset because it's already done. I'll use some of this. I'll try to do it. I'll do it with yellow too. It will be a mystery. What color will it be next now? Oh, Red and yellow? Right, yo Right, uh, yo Red and yellow makes orange. Look, I think the golden. It's very special. It makes golden. It's very yeah, very great. And I was hoping that I can use gold for the finishing touch. I'm going to add one golden. more color to the sky. Oh, looks interesting. Yay. Um, so I think I'm finished. I'll do my signature. Very nice. I'm also finishing. I also did a little bit of signature, some touch ups, and yeah, the, all the rest we can uh, have our painting rest and then it later. I think I'll use a tiny bit of black. Uh -huh. I think I'll like mine and yours and Pio's, <laughs> so we can all be good and friends together. I've got my signature right down. Yeah. Oh, I see your signature. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay. Nah, amazing job, girls. And I'm going to. What's your name? Girls, any wishes in particular for the next time? Is there something 
you want to you fancy or you want to paint. So what's um next Wednesday's art? Yeah, so uh, I'm asking you if you have any wish. If maybe maybe we can paint animals. Animals, all right. Any animal in particular that you like? A deer. A deer, ah, okay. Uh, yeah. I like to. I would like to do a deer and a butterfly. <laughs> a deer with a butterfly. All right, I will check. I'll check with other girls and if we can find. Yeah, it's a cool idea. We can do, of course, yeah. a deer. Or butterfly. It's very great if we can do four. Mm -hmm. It's good if we do three or four. Where are the other girls? Where are the other girls? Yes, they both they were coming today, but then they wrote one girl is sick, and the other girl she broke her arm, so they they can't she can't paint, and then yes, oh, so okay. again they only us, but next next week hopefully they will join help. us. Yeah, because it's of course more fun, and they're mm -hmm. also good painters as you. And then it's cool to share artworks to see how others did. Actually, I think yours is a bit better than mine because uh, you're you're an adult. Yes, of course. You don't need to compare. And first, of course, I paint more time. And yes, but you know what happens? That adult, they all want to go back and paint as children do. So. It's, it's, yes, <laughs> but, um, but you should be very proud of your artworks, girls. You did a really good job today. They are. Yeah, I'm adding the final touches. And you again. Do you want me to do your signature? you want me to do your signature? Do you, do you want to? You're yes or no? Do you want me to do your signature? Oh, no. Well, girls, I say you thank you for joining and for the really good artworks. And then I hope to see you next week. Ooh, yes, thanks again for showing. Amazing. Bye-bye, <laughs> girls. Bye. Bye, see you next time. Bye everyone. Thank you for watching. <laughs>